Right, we're on Mr. Chippy's bench once again. And today I want you to go through a whole pile of extension loudspeakers that are very important to me because uh, the set, especially these days, with tiny little speakers in, in, in uh, CB radios, you need an extension speaker. So, my favourite of all time is the Shaman's Wholesale SW711. Here's an old tatty one I bought at a rally. We need to put a new plug on that, clean it up and no doubt it's good. Now, when you see these, and I really like these, but they're big by today's standards, let's get a ruler out. Just checking the VCO box. Yes, Mr. Chippy. Okay, that's Mr. Chippy in the driveway about to go to the first point. I'm on a realistic hand portable on an external mic, just on its own aerial, because I want to replicate him being a lot further away than he really is, because I want a scratchy signal. So, these are four inches across, so they're quite a big speaker. And they've discounted them years ago, probably 20 years ago. But they still do pop up, and I do buy them because I like them. And people want to use extension speakers sometimes in a base station situation when they're using a mobile radio uh, with a power supply rather than a dedicated base station. And there's an odd organ pipe. That's a small one, isn't it? Measure that with the rule as well. It's one and a half inches. So, I bought this new old stock, I think it was £10 plus postage, and this is the Palmer version, the CS811, of the Shaman's SW711. We're going to use this as our benchmark speaker, because I know how well these work. So, unless this one is a duff one, let's put its mounting bracket away, this is how we're going to start. So, we're going to plug this... Oh, by the way, when you see these at radio rallies, there is a possibility you can end up with them intended to for Pi Phillips. Tango 21 from Mr. Chippy in position. Roger, I won't be long. Roger that. By the way, I'm on low power at the moment. Do you copy me alright? Uh, yeah, by 7, uh, but it's legible. And that's on 3 watts over. Yeah, that's louder, but it's buzzy, yeah. Roger, diddly dodger. Yes, I'm on the external power supply rather than bothering with batteries. So, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, you can look, see these at uh, rallies, and if they're Pi Phillips or perhaps no brand at all, there's a possibility there could be a 3 ohm speaker inside, so they're then unsuitable for CB. If you put a lower um, impedance speaker on, you can end up blowing up the amplifier. So, need to be 8 ohms, and this does say it on the back. So, we'll start by plugging this in and talking to Mr Chippy just like we just did do. So you've heard it on its internal speaker, now we're on this Palmer CS811. Tango 21, benchmark test. Right, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you say something to me. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roger, thank you. So that's how that sounds and that's probably as good as we're going to get. So the first one I just happen to have got here is the Eagle B183A. Comes with a mounting bracket. It's a right angle plug. Tango 21 with the next one. Tango 21, go ahead. Right, you say something to me. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roger, thank you. Well, that sounded alright. Let's put that to one side. Next, we've got the Eagle B185. And it's a little round thing. When we had these at Nottingham Radio, we needed to change the plugs, and it was a very, very thin screen cable and we found it very difficult to change the plug successfully. So just be aware of that, the, the figure eight lead on that is easier if you need to change the plug. And this screen cable, like I bet a lot of these screen cables um, can be a bit ropey to try and change the plug on. So it's a round one, it's supposed to be waterproof, supposed to be. I can't even get it out of the thingy clip. So I've got a straight plug there. Tango 21, next test. Tango 21, okay, so testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roger. 
massage on that. Now that was rattling, wasn't it? So is it just our sample that's rattling? I don't know. Put that back in the box. The next one is an Astatic branded one. Again it comes with a mounting bracket. It's quite very very light this. I hope there's some innards in it, it's that light. So it's a figure eight cable and once again it's got a right angle plug. Just need to pull a bit more of that out. Next test. Tango 21, OK. Uh, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roger on that. Now on the voice peaks, there was a bit of a um, vibration there. So next we come to the uh, Shaman's, um, so it's the SW725. So again you've got the mounting bracket, this time it's a screened cable so it might be a swine to change the plug on. Tango 21, next test. Roger on that, thank you. Well, that didn't vibrate. Bear in mind the hum's the power supply, not the speaker. So this looks exactly the same, but branded for Eagle. Now Mark, G7NDJ, who's here this weekend, he likes this type more than any other. Again, it's got the U-bracket in the thing, and again, it's got the screen cable, and this time it's got a straight plug and not a right angled plug. So let's see how this is. So it's not quite the same. Tango 21 testing. Tango 21 from Mr. Chippy. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roger on that. that leaves us with two more. These are mounted on cards. The Moonraker PMR201. So it comes now then, isn't this the same as the, the static one? Yes, it's the same as the static one. So it's as light as a feather and it comes with a screened cable. Whereas the Astatic one comes with a figure eight cable, so they're not the same. And they both came with the right angle plug. Tango 21 testing. Roger. That sounds great. That didn't vibrate. And then finally, the Shaman's SW726, which again comes on a, a blister pack. But my wholesaler loves me. This again comes with a screen lead. This has got some weight to it. And, this, and it's a, so it's a screen type of lead and it's got a right angled plug. Tango 21 testing the final one. Tango 21 from Mr Chippy, right around that. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm just going to quickly switch back to the one we started with. which is the long discontinued SW711 or the Palmer version and this is the back to the Palmer CS811 over. Yep, Roger that. Well, I'll, I'll move on to the next point and uh, see how we go. Roger, thank you. So, I mean, still, I think that was that's still the best and we'll start the next part of this video with that speaker. So let's look at what the power handling alleges 
this doesn't mean a thing, does it? I mean, we all know it's half half of its bull and the other hair, half is Sierra Hotel on Tango. That says eight ohms, ten watts. That says diddly squat. Doesn't say anything anywhere. So that's the B183A. The Eagle round one says five watts. I doubt it, but it's what it says. It doesn't say anything about impedance. The static one says five watts, eight ohms. The Shaman 725 says 5 watts, uh, says nominal power 3 watts, maximum power 5 watts, which is probably about true. The Eagle one eight ohms, 7 watts, well I'm not sure about that. The Moonraker one on the card 3 watts, maximum 8 watts, 8 ohms, and then finally the Shaman 726, 8 ohms, RMS, and um, 8 watts RMS and 8 ohms impedance. So if I couldn't get those, it looks to me like I'd like those, but Mark likes these, so that's uh, or the Eagle version. So we'll take, um, I'll pause the video and see where he gets to next. So as I said, he's deliberately gone up the road. Um, sorry, we've deliberately gone on a handheld so that we're on, we're creating the lowest range so he doesn't have to drive miles and miles to make it scratchy. So he's just um, gone to the quarry, which is a um, mile and a half away. So I'm going to 21, Mr. Chippy. And uh, 21, go ahead. Excellent, that's the first one over. Yep, roger that. Um, 54321 or 12345 Thank you. So, that's our bench test. So now we'll go with that Eagle one again. Tango 21, next test. Roger, thank you. That works very well, and we had the they always called a VCB twenty seven at one time. Uh, we've had those when I was at uh, Nottingham Radio. So we're back to this round one, which rattled first time round, didn't it? Tango twenty one, next test. Roger. So it's rattling again. Is it the screws are loose? It's just shouldn't have to do this. I'm just going to retest the same one. Can you go again, please? Roger, thank you. You know what, I think I got rid of the rattle. So next we're on the aesthetic one. Tango 21. Yeah, testing the next one. Yep, roger that. Testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Roger, thank you. So we're not changing the volume at any point on any of these, as you know. So back to the one that Mark likes. This is the screen cable version, the uh, Shaman's one. Tango 21, next test. Tango 21 from Mr Chippy, testing a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roger, thank you. Back to the Eagle version of a similar thing. Both have screen leads, this has the straight plug. Next test, over. Yep, Roger that. Tango 21 from Mr. Chippy, testing a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roger. So that's your Eagle one. 
that shaman's one was SPK725 as well as being called the 725. The eagle one is called the B184A. So on to the Moonraker PMR201, which is similar to the aesthetic but has the screen bleed. There's a difference. Tango 21, next test. Roger. Put that one back, and then this one, which I seem to I seem to like this one the best. The uh, seven twenty six SPK seven twenty six. Testing the next one. Roger. So now we're going to unplug that, we're going to use the radio's own speaker. Tango 21 now testing the radio on its own speaker. Um, say again. Yeah, I'm just testing the radio on its own internal speaker. Right, going again. right just give me a count. Testing it on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And finally we're going to test back into the Palmer CS811. Right, go give me a count. Okay, that concludes the test, thank you. Roger that. 10 10. Right, well, there we are. Um, so you've heard all those. I like that one, apart from those which we can't get anymore. I like this the best. And Mr. Chippy likes the eagle rectangular one or the shaman's version of it the best. Back in the days when we were putting taxi radios in Ford Sierras, these actually these round ones actually fitted in a little groove and they worked alright. But I had to tighten those screws up which wasn't ideal. With these being quite flat, they're lower profile than any other speaker. So they all, every one of these has worked nicely, so I shouldn't have had to tighten the screws in that one. But uh, what can you say? I, I just think that was a bit louder. Um, they all seem to work fine. So if you're in the market for an extension speaker, you have now seen everything that's on the market currently. And I do this in January uh, 1923, 2023. Even I wasn't around in 1923. So that's it. Thanks very much. And that's when we've pressed the realistic um, TRC-1001 into service. This microphone was kicking around in a box. And I just put a new uh, metal plug on the end. And that's what we've been using on there. So just on its own telescopic aerial. So it's not a CB test. Today it's a speaker test. Thank you for watching.